So, 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 what part of Florida are you from, man? I'm, I'm from Miami, but I live over here near Fort Myers. Man, you in Fort Myers? Yeah, where where you at? You in Georgia? Yeah, I'm in Warner Robins, Georgia. Where's so, that at? It is right over here by Macon. I don't know where that is either. Like, 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 what part of the state? Like, what so, quadrant of the state? So, so we middle Georgia, man. We four seven eight, man. Uh, that's our area code, but four seven eight is it's it's in middle Georgia by an hour okay yeah from Atlanta, bro. Like if I get okay. on the road and really mash, bro, I can get to Atlanta in an hour. I bet. Okay. I've been through a, I've been through Georgia a few times, but I never really stayed in Georgia like that, you know. I was an outcast, but I was trying to fit in. You know what I mean? And then I got to a point where I had to embrace my own outcast you know, qualities and that, that kind of liberates you and you can just be happy, you know what I mean? Word. That's dope. That's dope, man. That's dope. I mean, what well, shit, man? I mean, we already seen him chopping it up. I mean, shit, well, I'm so used to looking for other yeah. shit to attach on to. Yeah. I'm not even soaking up all this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For real, I went. I went through. I went through some shit where I kind of like lost everything. You know, like lost my home, lost the the girl I was with. You know what I mean? Like I shed everything that I I was attached to, but the, the like a lot of things weren't good for me. But because I was just in a fucked up situation. You know what I mean? Um, but but I learned the hard way through losing so many things that like I had to deal with myself. You know what I mean? Like I had to I had to find what was like what made me happy on the inside without it attaching me to all these things. You know what I mean? Man. You know what I'm saying? Man. Just from losing everything, though. You know what I mean? As a man, bro, that's a beautiful place to be in for you to even, for you to be in that type of, in that type of awareness about yourself, man. A million dollars wouldn't make you feel no better, bro. Real shit. No, that, that, that's my motto. Like, if I saw a million dollars in front of me and I knew I earned it, I wouldn't even trip, you know what I mean? Like it's not. I wouldn't. I want to be like that. That feeling and you're like, you know, the excitement. That shit just wouldn't happen for me because that's not. That's not it. That's not where I'm. Like, like the happiness is already there. I never needed that million dollars to make me happy, so it doesn't excite me. You know what I mean? It is what music had done for me, bro. It, it it doesn't compare to nothing else, bro. I don't know what it is about it. Like, yeah. if I can do this, I'm okay. That's how yeah. I love my music, bro. Yeah, it's crazy how much power the music has, you know? You know you know what I believe, man? Like, I believe that, like, if, you, like if you're a pure-hearted person, so, it, like, if you're making music, you're coming from a pure place, I feel like you're just tapping into the, the voice of God. Like, that creativity, sometimes you're not even thinking about how you come up with these words or these, yeah. you know what I mean? It's just, like, it's God, you know what I mean? That creative imagination, that's God talking to you, and then, when you're pure and you're able to tap into it, I feel like it does something for your soul that you can't you can't explain to anybody, you know? Let me ask you this, man. Because I'm looking at athletes and shit, right? Mm -hmm. We look at athletes and we enjoy the game that they play. Do you have a favorite mm -hmm. sport? I love I love basketball. You love basketball? basketball. Basketball. Favorite team here, man. You from Miami now? The Heat, bro. Come on, D Wade is my all-time favorite player. So, so, so you a big fan of the Heat because you going for the home team? Of Wade, course. The reason I ask you that is because, all right, we feel this way about music, bro. So obviously, with everything you just said, bro, it it ain't got nothing to do with the money. It ain't got nothing to do with the the fame, so to speak. But I'm I'm pretty sure. You doing this to have your your music like on the worldwide scale, bro? Just listening to, cause I don't listen to a few of your tracks. You want people to hear this, bro? You, 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 you doing this for people to hear this and feel what you're saying, bro? I heard your lyrics, bro. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah. So yeah, my, so, my I, oh, go ahead, go ahead. Sorry. Uh, go ahead. On, you go ahead. You go ahead. No, nah, no, nah, I, I was just gonna like, say. I, yeah, I want my biggest thing with making music is like, I want my music to challenge people's like perspective or like challenge the way they're thinking about dealing with their life. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know, just challenge their normal thoughts because a lot of people are just like, 
Like, again, no offense, but a lot of people are just, like, kind of basic, you know? They're kind of simple, but they're not, they're not really thinking deeper into, like, their life or their problems or who they are. They're just kind of going. And I just want to kind of, like, like, like for, like, like a, a artist like J. Cole or Kendrick, like, they had a big, um, they inspired me a lot to want to, like, grow, you know, as a human. Like, they, like, do better in my life, like, you know what I mean? And that's just what I want to do with people. Like, how we have this talk and you can feel, like, you know, we're talking about like something more purposeful. I want people to feel like that when they hear my music. And that's my goal. And what? Huh? Cause see, you went for it, Maya, but you from Miami. And, uh-huh. and, and the thing about it is, you, you, in a, you in a place where people like to come to, just like people like to come to Atlanta. Yeah. People like to come to Georgia. So, damn, bro. Like, let let me ask you about your music, bro. Like, how you feel? You feel like people fucking with your music, man? I think I think the right people fuck with it. Like where I live, there's a certain culture for the music and locally. That's just it, honestly, I could I could admit where I fit in, where I don't fit in. You know what I mean? But I noticed that a lot of the people that do fuck with me, they really resonate with them. You know, and it really connects with them. And they seem to all be similar to me. They're just like real people who are also just trying to like figure out how to do better or whatever, figure out like whatever life, or or they just come from like a really rough upbringing, you know? Yeah. But, but I think people should fuck with my music. And I think the people that do are meant to fuck with my music. I like that, man. I, I, I mean, why you feel like what what is about you like what, what why you feel like people should fuck with moon god <laughs> the moon god. because they'll change their life <laughs> like i feel like it will change their life and it's not necessarily a benefit to me but it's a benefit to them i put a lot of like i put a lot like i sacrifice a lot bro like i really like left my baby mama left i was homeless like still kind of like drifting back and forth but just making music non-stop and just trying to make the correct moves and i just put a lot of passion behind my work and i always just try to be authentic you know i don't like i just try to be me and whatever that is you know what i mean and i just know where i, I know where i'm from i know what i like i know what i've been through i know what i've been exposed to and i know i just know who i am that's why i, I just think people would respect that you know when they got to know me as an artist so you want people, you want people to uh, not only fuck with your music, but you want them to fuck with the whole you as an artist. You, you, you. In yeah, my brand. Yeah, yeah you like, like I'm a way. Of, go ahead, go ahead. I'm a way. Oh, I'm a, I'm a way of life. You know what I mean? Like I, like I feel like I'm a symbolism for a certain way of life that is attractive to people because. I feel like I just have some peace in me that they don't have and they don't they don't get it. And I think that that is an attractive thing to a lot of people, but but yeah. It is different in the morning. It feels different in the morning. She want it deeper in the morning. Kill the pussy, now we mourning. And life goes on. Hey, hey, hey. Life goes on. Oh, oh, oh. It is different in the morning. It feels different in the morning. She want it deeper in the morning. Kill the pussy, now we mourning. Life goes on. Hey, hey, hey. Life goes on. Oh, oh, oh. Kill the pussy, now we grieving. It's the morning, not the evening.